problem I would pitch with data visualization as it applies to how presentations work is the tools that sort of pump out our charts and our graphics, they're not optimized or really even designed to be making those for presentation. They're really just designed to be the most efficient method of pumping out that information. I'm mean, kind of envisioning that Excel chart that's got 50 points of data on it and then people just most commonly grab the screenshot or export it as a PNG and throw it into their deck and they're like, all right, sweet, ready to, ready to present. And really that's not a great solution. So we're gonna talk about some redesign. I'll show you some before and after examples. Um, the funny thing about this one here, it, it seems like I would have to kind of make up these horrible like fake world scenarios, but this coincidentally, so Prezi is an actual kind of like platform. I, I call it kind of the new school uh, PowerPoint in, in a lot of ways. A consulting firm did this, I imagine very expensive study on behalf of Prezi to learn about the value of presentations as it applies to agencies and mar marketing agencies specifically. And they delivered this to Prezi on a PowerPoint. Uh, I'll show you a few <laughs> more examples. So just mind blowing, I'm sure they spent uh, tens of thousands of dollars on this research study and, and then it all gets thrown into this just kind of terrifying uh, slide here and there are many more like this. So this is not made up and this is not just hastily prepared internal staffing meetings. These are real world presentations for expensive projects that are, that are getting presented like this. So the actual main takeaway here is right here but they just kind of threw all the information on it and it, it's not clear even what's being asked, let alone what the, what the responses are. So here's a, an idea of how we can redesign this with, with the Prezi platform. It allows us to really break it down into bite-sized pieces for an audience. So number one, this is just PowerPoint slide, whatever, start with what you're asking. That other one really buried the initial question. So that's just a, a bad principle in the first place. But the point of this was really, have you ever had to work with or consider an agency? And the ultimate takeaway was that 112 people had and 31 people hadn't, okay? So we've covered that, perfect. Now that was really buried in that first version, but here's what's neat about Prezi. So the rest of those bars that you were seeing on that previous example, those were actually respondent uh, demographic information, but it made it very confusing because they tried to fit it all on that one axis there. So Instead, we can actually now zoom in on this kind of supplementary information here and talk about, okay, respondents by company size, respondents by title, respondents by gender, I believe. And then now that we've looked at all these kind of individually, we come back to this big picture concept. And now, hopefully the, the fact that you've had a chance to look at it piece by piece, it's much more comprehensible than that previous edition. What do you think, interesting? Yeah, cool. So this is version one. I'll show you a few more examples on the data visualization, visualization perspective. I'm not sure why that photo didn't load, so my apologies on that one there. But my point here, these are actually screenshots from four, uh, four additional slides from this uh, aforementioned somewhat scary PowerPoint presentation. And my challenge with slides often is that you can even have some great, well-designed slides, but they feel very fragmented. They feel like individual pieces rather than um, something that's all very complimentary making an overall point. So these were all really getting at one point, which was what is the value of presentations? But because they're presented as individual slides, it's very hard for the audience to track that takeaway. So instead, kind of similar to what we just did, we're gonna present the overall takeaway and then we're gonna talk about what are the three elements that are supporting this. So first one was, makes me doubt the creative ability, you can, read, you can read it yourself, 91% agreed, 7% disagreed. And then the second piece there was, would you consider rejecting a good pitch? Actually, I like this one. So three quarters of the people said yes, that if it, weren't, it wasn't a creative presentation, they would consider rejecting it. And then to break that out a little bit further, what I find very interesting is, these represent small, medium, and large companies. And you can see the large companies, I think that was about 250 plus employees, they were much more tolerant of uh, poorly designed presentations than the smaller companies. So I thought that was a really interesting takeaway there. Uh, in any case, it, it definitely does have an impact according to this research study. And lastly, the, the creativity and 90% claim that 
they would lean towards a, a more creative solution. These are all just the details, but the point is we can present those individually, give you a chance to evaluate each of them one at a time. Again, then we can come back to our sort of landing page, so to speak, and, and show how those all were really supporting one point, right? The value of presentation. So it helps you address that, that fragmented element of it there. Example three, this is not uh, meant to get super political, but this is just an example of a chart that's very complicated. And as you know, this is a data viz group, so as you all know, text is not very meaningful when it comes to numbers. And so just, just looking at this one from a different approach would be, would be advantageous no matter the presentation platform. But again, with Resi, you have that ability to break it down piece by piece. So this is an actual um, real life, real life uh, slide, and this is the way we redesigned it here. So we start with the big picture again. You can't, you can see kind of how it breaks up. You can start to get the top level information, but if you really want to learn more about the different types of delegate and, and how it breaks down, we can actually, of course, as you're starting to notice a trend here, we can actually zoom in on it piece by piece. So uh, proportional, um, this one had a little bit of sub um, subtext, and of course we couldn't you saw the previous chart, you tried to fit it all in one and it ended up being just a lot of information. So here we can look at this piece, this piece, show how they all look percentage wise and kind of from the count. And then once we've got all of that evaluated, it's very important that we come back to where we started so we can see kind of really tie that thought together, right? So this is an example of how we can take a pretty commonly used chart and actually break it down piece by piece and hopefully make it much more comprehensible. And if we've got some supplementary information, we can in some ways kind of hide it right, and allow them to evaluate it individually, not trying to read this chart with all those different pieces of information. Uh, last one here, this is a pretty common example. We're showing this year's numbers. Someone calls you on the phone and says they're from Real Corp. Do not buy their products. It's probably not a real company. So that's our, uh, this is our made up example here. Hopefully no one works for Real Corp here. <laughs> Yep, so 2015 numbers, yep, great. 2016 numbers, cool. Apparently we're doing really well. And then instead of just moving away, we can actually then just zoom out and show both of those in the same context. And because we recognize those, it's, it's really common for people to actually try to do this with slides, but now the chart looks a little different and now it's even hard to remember that, oh yeah, that was the information we were talking about before. But in this case, we didn't actually build a new chart, we just showed a different perspective, the overall showing both of those together. And we can use something like this, put a little header. Now this is the key information. And then if we want to even add a little takeaway, we shift downward and we, we can still, we can add this supplementary information there. So these are all pretty subtle shifts. This kind of think of this as our first slide. This is our second and then our third was right here. And this was our fourth. So really all, uh, all four showed that very first one, but we're building on our pieces, that we're building on our story rather than simply showing individual slides that are, are hard to, to connect to, um, back to the audience. So the solution, as I think I've made pretty clear in these examples, hopefully, if not, I'll, I'll address that in questions in just a moment, is basically you can show the overall graphic. These are relatively simple charts, but you can imagine even a very complex chart where we're because we're able to look at it in a, in a piece by piece element, we're able to uh, improve comprehension of the audience and really guide the logic of what we're talking about. So we can go into that piece by piece level and then we can come back to the big picture to get our takeaway. And I added these little expert tips here at the end. You can judge whether or not they're an expert tip. I think this one should be just common sense, but it, it often isn't. The point here is design, as uh, hopefully Randy would agree with this as well, design your charts and your, and your slides for a presentation like an infographic. Uh, it shouldn't take more than a few seconds to get that takeaway. You should be able to quickly assess what it's trying to say. If you really, if this is the, the meeting of, you know, we need to get into really deep in the data, that's where that's more appropriate for an email or a follow-up, give them the PDF, let them dig into the numbers all weekend if they really want to. But, uh, we want kind of to design it really more of an infographic. A presentation isn't usually an appropriate time to throw up just dozens and dozens of uh, data points that are, are very difficult to uh, comprehend. So you want to make sure and gauge what is the appropriate outlet for these. Cool. I will pause and take a look at how we are. Uh, has anyone has anyone had any questions?